Okay, this is test number two. Uh, see if I can't destroy the amplifier another time. This time I've rebuilt the amplifier using high speed or ultra fast flyback diodes on the gate drives and some ferrite beads to help with um, to, to round off the top of the uh, leading edge pulse and still allow the uh, gate drive to shut the MOS MOSFET off very quickly. Okay. I'm going to show you uh, the entire test operation including the oscilloscope traces so you can see the gate drive and uh, you can see the bus voltage as well as it uh, surges up and down. So let's go. I'm going to go ahead and start this thing. Yeah, you can get an idea of how fast the motor is spinning. You can see that I've turned up the uh, current limit way out of the way so it doesn't even kick in. Okay, now let's put the scope probe on the gauge drive first. There you go. And now you get an idea of the gauge drive waveform and it's roughly about 112 volts. Okay, the next is the motor voltage. Which is just under 100 volts. And finally, the bus voltage. You can watch it surge. The bus voltage stabilizes around 97 volts, and surges to 102, and drops down to about 93 or so. Another thing you'll notice is the MOSFETs appear to be anywhere from 76 to 80 degrees whereas the motor is a lot warmer so far so good